guys, understand this. Understand this, guys. At baptism, there is demons that lose the ground to be in you. But, and then they're going to cast out. But after baptism, water baptism, there are still spirits in you that have a right to be in you, whether it's through generational stuff, or that you have not yet completely overcome, completely stopped, um, you know, and completely hated, overcome, gave, you know, not yielding into, not, not letting them see, no, whatever, yeah. The sin that you're not aware of, that you don't know is a sin, that, that you let, that happened, or you let happen, I, that, you need to be aware, you need to be aware of it, and then you, and then you, oh, and then the one will overcome it, once you overcome it, you once you overcome it, you overcome it, and strip them, go to the light, or the generation, or whatever, then, then, the, then, um, it's time for those spirits, you know, from having those spirits that will really be cast out. But those spirits that lose the light, lose on the ground, lose the ground at baptism, and spirits that still have the ground, only ground after baptism. And you can observe this. Um, but, so, Break the generational, break the bonds, the oath, the contracts, the, the missions and the objectives. Be, get away with all your sins and God hates all sins and overcome them and then come for deliverance. Whenever the Lord wills you come for deliverance. Hate your sin, don't pray that you hate your sin, hate your ungodly, wailing or lying type jokes. Okay? Be blessed. So, pray that you hate all this ungodly behavior, and that you overcome it with your will. You don't let them do what they do. You fight with your will. Be aware of it. Repent of it, confess it, overcome it. Repent of it, turn from it. And then come for deliverance. But if the Lord tells you that this is how I want you to get deliverance and that you will aware of it, to be loved by the Lord. Okay? Be blessed in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen.